Hello, I'm Mr. Franklin, and today we're going to be talking about potential energy. Potential energy is often, we often use the symbol for U for its variable. I will often also use PE, so either symbol is appropriate for potential energy. Now, when we talked about our vocabulary words, we said that energy is the ability to do work. Potential energy, and especially gravitational potential energy, which is what we're, we are going to focus on, is the ability to do work based on an object's position or its height above the ground. Okay, so you take an object, you raise it above the ground, you're doing work to create potential energy, and when you let go, gravity pulls the object down to the desk or to the ground, Gra the force of gravity, known as weight, is pulling it down. So just by holding something above the ground, it has the potential to have a force applied over a distance. So that's our definition from yesterday. So potential energy is the ability to do work based on an object's position or height above the ground. Mathematically, we often will say U or even U sub G so all this means is we're talking about gravitational potential energy. There's chemical potential energy. There's all kinds of other types of U, okay? But we're going to focus on this one. So U sub G, or we're probably just going to simplify it to U. But that's in case, if you see that, you know what it means. This equation is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity times the height of the object above the ground. MGH. When we talk about G, just remember it's an acceleration, so this is mass times acceleration, and that acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. The units for potential energy, if we have one kilogram times one meter per second squared, that's a force, which is one newton times one meter and one newton times one meter is one joule. So the units for potential energy is the joule, just like we had with work. What I also want to point out, I've already said it, but I want to point it out again, is U equals MGH. Well, MG is the force, and H is another way of saying distance. That's the equation for work. Work equals force times distance. So these are interlinked and interchangeable. They actually mean different things because work is a force is happening over a distance. U means there's a potential for there to be a force over a distance. Okay, so let's take a look at a diagram that might help make this make a little sense. So I've drawn my stick figure. We are holding a ball, it could be a pencil, whatever it is, it has a mass, and we lift it a height above the ground. So U equals mass times G times H. So if the mass was 0.1 kilogram, so if the mass is 0.1 kilogram, and the height was 2 meters, we could plug it, these numbers into this equation, and we get 0.1 times 9.8, times 2, we do all of that math and we get 1.96 joules. So that's how much energy it has if I just hold it above the ground. Okay? So in general, if I lift something above the ground a certain height, the maximum potential energy that object could ever have without lifting it any higher is its maximum potential energy. Okay, If the object's sitting on the ground, you have the minimum potential energy possible, and that would equal zero. So if it's on the ground, the potential energy is zero. If you've lifted it as high as possible, then the object has its maximum value for potential energy. So here's a question. What is the potential energy going to be if the object falls halfway? So what is U at halfway? 
What do you think? Okay. Halfway, the height is going to be cut in half. We could do the math, and what you would find out is u is half of its maximum. So how did the ball or the object get up to the top? How did it go from down here all the way up? How did we get it to have potential energy? Work was done. To give the object potential energy, And work is also done when we release the object. So once the potential energy is let go, then work is done and the energy is changed into a different form. We'll see that more in the next unit, or in the next uh, set of notes. So I've done a little diagram that explains this in pictures. So we take the object and we apply a force. We push it up to a height, a certain distance, force times distance. We did some work. Then we have the object sitting at a certain height. It's not being pushed up. It's not falling. It's just sitting at a height above the ground, and it has potential energy, U equals mgh. We let go of the object, and now the force of gravity pulls the object down over a distance, and we get work again. But the value for these numbers, the value of the work done here, is equal to the potential energy here, which is equal to the work done here. So work is approximately equal to a change in energy. We could say it's exactly equal to if we're talking in a pure case, but work is equal to the potential energy. Energy causes work to be done. So when we let energy, when we release energy, work is done on the object involved. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of seven-step problems based on this that'll help you get an idea of how this works. So, seven-step problems. R2D2 guess. We're going to read it twice. We're going to draw it twice. We're going to write our givens, unknown equation, substitute, and solve. So let's read. What is the gravitational potential energy of a rock with a mass of 15 kilograms that is dropped from a height of 12 meters? I've read it once. Now I'm going to read it again and mark my items. What is the potential energy, which is U, of a rock with a mass of 15 kilograms, that's M, that is dropped from a height of 12 meters, that's a height. So I've circled and labeled, I've read it. Now I'm going to draw twice. I'm going to draw the story of the word problem. So we have an object, a rock, with a mass of 15 kilograms. And it's going to be dropped from a height of 12 meters. And we're looking for U. Or you could also say PE either one. Okay? So I drew the picture. The object's going to fall. I labeled my picture, so I drew twice. Now I'm going to list my givens. Mass equals 15 kilograms. Height equals 12 meters. The unknown is my potential energy. Now I can look at my yellow sheet or look for an equation. We only have one at the moment, U equals MGH. So now I'm going to substitute. U is a variable. I do not know it. It's a question, so I write the variable. Mass is equal to 15 kilograms. G, oh, we didn't write G, so we could put G equals negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, energy is, a vec is not a vector, so we can leave that as a positive. It's okay. 9.8 times height, which is 12 meters. 
and now we just plug it in our calculator. 15 times 12 is 180 times 10, so you're going to get 1800-ish. So let's get the calculator and check my the math that I did in my head. So 15 times 9.8 times 12. 1764. Pretty close to 1800. What's the units? Potential energy? The unit is the joule. So there is my answer. Okay. So R2, D2, G, U, E, substitute and solve. Problem is complete. Okay, let's work the next one. How high was the egg dropped from if it has a mass of 0 0.006 kilograms, if it had 120 joules of potential energy. So how high, which is the height, was the egg dropped from if it has a mass of 0 0.006 kilograms, that's a mass, if it had 120 joules of potential energy. So U. Okay, so I've read it twice, I've marked it, now let's tell our story of an object being dropped. Height is our question. Mass is 0 0.006 kilograms and U equals 120 joules. Given, we're given a mass equal to 0 0.006 kilograms. U equals 120 joules unknown, height equals question mark, equation, we only have one equation, u equals mgh. Do I know u? Yes I do. 120 joules equals a mass of 0 0.006 kilograms times 9.8 times h. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and solve one step, 120, and then 0 0.006 times 9.8. 0 0.006 times 9.8 equals 0 0.0588 times h. Now what do I do with my algebra? I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.0588. 0 0.0588. 0 0.0588 divided by itself is equal to 1. 1 times h is h. So now we have 120 divided by 0 0.0588 equals 2040.82. 2040.82 meters. 2,000 meters above the ground is how high that egg would have been dropped at that mass. Okay? So that is a crash course in potential energy. You have some practice problems that you can work through. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.